I've been asked to uh, talk about ascension, and I know that all over the world and websites all over the world, people have all kinds of ideas about what this means, and and uh, and and when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen. Uh, ascension is a natural process. Uh, it, in our particular case at this time in history, it is not an individual ascension where one person uh, figures it out and leaves. Uh, there may be a little bit of that going on, but really it is the planet, a Mother Earth herself, who is going through ascension and, and she is taking us with her. And so uh, it's very important uh, because of the circumstances of what ascension means here, that we be connected to Mother Earth, that we really, our hearts are connected to her and, and also to Father Son, uh, because it is our mother and our father on these levels that will be bringing us from this world to another world. Now sometimes uh, this is looked at as a dimensional change, and you can see it that way. Uh, we're going to go from the third dimension to the fourth dimension, and uh, this is not an, uh, a simple experience. Uh, you will basically die from this world and be reborn into another one. Uh, you, your spirit, is not going to be harmed. It's a very easy transition. It's beautiful, actually, and if people knew what it was, they'd be lining up because it, it, it feels awesome to be able to make this transition. But it's something that you will probably not remember until a while after you've been there because you come in as a baby and, uh, and you find yourself in a world that is, doesn't look anything like this at all. The colors are completely different. The, uh, the sensations are different. Your senses are different. Your ability to uh, receive information has is, is changed. And so for a little while, uh, uh, it takes a while to get used to just being in this new world. Slowly it becomes natural and you understand it. You even begin to remember because you've been there before. But uh, the most important part of ascension when you get into the new world is to realize that you are creating this world. You are creating every single thing in it. And so if you go into fear, you're going to create a fear-based reality, and one way or another, it will throw you back into the third dimension where you are now. Many are called and few are chosen, because not very many people usually are able to figure this out fast enough to be able to stay there. So really, again, you just have to be like a child, be innocent, play, don't go into fear, be happy, and create a world that is beautiful, and you then are stable and can stay there. And, uh, and that's really the biggest, uh, the biggest point to know, is that uh, those first few minutes are really important, that you don't go into fear, and you understand that life is completely supporting you, and, and everything will be fine. On another level, Ascension is really very simple inside the body. All it is is moving from the brain to the heart. It's a movement, and that's really all it is. Long ago, when we fell, 13,000 years ago, we were in our hearts, and we left our hearts and went into our brain, and that has been the problem for the last 13,000 years. We developed an ego, and now everybody thinks that they're important, and. Uh, and the bigger picture and the humanity is not important, the only thing that matters is themselves. And that state of being has created a world that is in war all over. And so when we leave this brain and go back into our heart again, when the world does this and the whole world does this, all of the problems that we have all over the world will be gone. They will be solved within minutes. It'll be over. To really understand this, you can't just know it by words. It requires you to do meditation and, and deep meditation and understand who you are and what your relationship is to God and to life. It, it is something that you need to, to, um, to enter into with all of yourself, with your mind, your body, your heart, your soul, and everything, and not something you do on the weekends. It really requires a, uh, a focus, and, uh, and especially within your meditation. And so, uh, this is a little synopsis of what ascension is. Uh, it doesn't end there. It goes on and on. There's ascension beyond that, and we keep going higher and higher and higher 
and to other levels of consciousness. But this first one is very important for us because it puts us back into the natural track where we automatically make the moves to go into the higher levels of consciousness. Where we are now is in a fallen state. Uh, we're lost. We don't even have the slightest idea, most people, of what's going on on these levels. So uh, I hope this information helps you. And uh, stay happy is one of the most important keys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.